Crate Guy Game. Today I'm doing my Loot Crate, WizKids Loot Crate unboxing. Um, I said previously that the, the last video was my last one. Apparently I paid for this one um, and it came, but this is the last of the uh, every other month subscription. I've got six boxes, so that would be a year's worth. So I'm going to open it up, show you what comes in it, and we'll talk about what the games are. So here we go. And I've already broke the seal because I didn't want to have to bring a knife or something on, on camera. So I went ahead and broke the seal. And we're going to see what's in here. So first up, we have palm trees. Palm trees is, wow, you can barely see that. I think it is two to four players, um, ages 14 and up. It has 78 cards, six trunk tattoo sleeves apparently there's some sleeves in here so apparently it goes up to six players i just can't read that on this box uh so i'm gonna guess two to six players um you use cards to grow a tree in your hand palm tree um all of the cards have rules telling you the crazy ways you have to hold them pick challenging cards for your opponents and hope that they drop cards the best tree wins. Palm trees can also be played in teams of two. One player is growing palm tree in their hand while the other play other partners place the cards into those trees. Be the first to place six cards in each tree. So you're using your hand as a palm tree as you hopefully can see right there on the back and it has a sleeve that you put on your arm um, to do that. So that's palm trees. Let's see what else we have. Spy tricks. Spy tricks. Spy tricks is for three to four players. Um, it's ages 14 plus. Takes about 30 minutes to play. This one said it takes about uh, five minutes per player. So palm trees, five minutes per player. Uh, spy tricks is 30 minutes. It says a battle of tricks to uncover government secrets. Now, I like trick-taking games, so this, this looks intriguing to me. As intelligence operatives, each player vies to uncover the information hidden away in the top-secret documents information of grand importance on the world stage. From trick to trick, these spies must deduce the contents of the secret document by studying what cards have been played and what cards haven't. Only one player can be the trickiest of spies. It's a trick-taking game. Uh, spy tricks looks very interesting to me. I love card games and trick-taking games, so that one looks very interesting. Last one in the box. You usually get three. Uh, this is the last one in the box. This is El Maestro. <clears throat> El Maestro is for three to eight players. Very large group to play with. Um, Ten plus 30 minutes. Really, all it says... I mean, there's not much to look at on the front of the box. doesn't tell you a whole lot. There's nothing written on the back of the box except three things. Uh, watch the maestro draws in the air a picture which only they can see. Interesting. Uh, number two, draw what you think you saw. And number three, guess the things you just drew. So somebody's going to be air drawing in the air. You're going to be drawing it, I guess, on paper. Um, and then you have to write down what you think they were drawing. So that's a little speculative for sure. And I'm probably sure it'll make a lot of laughs. So <clears throat> here's what I got in this month's, uh, actually it was last month, January and February. Um, what I got in the, it come at the very end of February. Uh, here's what I got. I got palm trees, spy tricks, El Maestro. Now, if you guys are looking for a game box and you really are just open to whatever, uh, WizKids, uh, Loot Crate, if you guys want to give it a chance, 
Uh, check it out. It's about $24. I'll put a description below where you can go get it. Um, it's been an okay box. I haven't had too much to complain, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an overall video of the WizKids uh, Loot Crate. I'm going to show you everything that I've gotten, uh, and I'm going to tell you what games I kept and what games I didn't. Because I didn't keep all these games. I haven't even opened some, and I've given some away. So um, I'm just going to tell you what I, what I kept and what I didn't. You guys can uh, decide whether for yourself whether you think this box is uh, worth 24 bucks. I think three small games. Um, usually, uh, these games like this are about 14, 15 bucks. So, in in this El Maestro, have no idea. You might catch them in a bargain bin somewhere for a lot cheaper. I don't know, but I do know that that they're all brand new games. Um, they're from Wiz Kids. Wiz Kids make some games that I just love. Um, so, um, you guys can check it out if you like. I hope that these videos have been helpful for you to decide whether you want Loot Crate, uh, WizKids uh, Loot Crate or not. And, uh, let me know if you guys have ever subscribed to a board game subscription. And if so, which ones and which ones you think are worth it and not. Guys, thanks for watching Calvin's Got Game. Get a board game to the table. Spend time with your friends and family if you can. Thanks for watching Calvin's Got Game.